Hello friends, this is a short video demonstration for photography using extension tubes for macro. So for today's uh, recording setup uh, we have the standard 1855 kit lens, one DSLR body, I have a D7000 and then the extension tube set itself and the kiwi fruit on the left is going to be our uh, subject for today. Now the 1855 kit lens itself is a is an excellent lens and uh, by default it comes with a minimum focusing distance of 28 centimeters so which essentially not only makes it a good uh, wide angle lens but also enables you to get up close to the subject what you are shooting so important point is your front element should be very clean because in macro photography you will be getting close to the subject then uh, increase focal length to 55 which is the maximum zoom capability for this lens so that will help you get closer to your subject next uh, important aspect is the DSLR body of course without which you cannot do the photography so I use a D7000 the important point here is uh, turn the dial to manual focus mode because it will help you adjust all controls manually. Next, auto focus uh, also should be turned to manual from AF to M. I have already done that. D7000 has a manual button. I have turned that to manual mode. Since the objective is macro photography, the extension tube forms the most important part of the puzzle. So it comes in three pieces, 12 mm, 20 mm and 36 mm. So it is uh, detachable. Now you can separate out each of these uh, uh, attachments individually I can put them mount them on the camera all together you can mount the uh, attachments one by one each of the uh, attachment will give you a closer focusing capability so the 12 mm will be close the 20 mm will be closer and the 36 mm will be the closest so if you use all of these three things together it's going to be very very close to the subject now let us mount the kit lens without any extension tube and then uh, take a test photo of uh, our subject Mr. Kiwi Fruit. So important point is turn the focus to focal length to 55 which is the maximum. Camera in manual mode and uh, the aperture should be maximum. So in 1855 lens when the focal length is 55 mm the maximum aperture is f5.6. So that is what uh, is going to be the biggest opening that is available for us. So set it to f5.6 and then now let us take a photo of our uh, subject. So this is the output of uh, the 1855 kit lens. Now let us first add the 12 mm attachment to the lens. So 12 mm is attached to the lens now and then we are mounting it to the DSLR. Other settings remain the same, I have not changed anything right now. If you notice, we are very very close to the subject now, already at 12mm. Click, this is the output. Almost the entire frame is uh, full of kiwi fruit now. Now for want of uh, time, I am going to attach the 36mm, the 20mm and the 12mm. All of the extension sets to the kit lens. Now this entire setup is going to be quite heavy it adds lot of space between the sensor and the lens so which means you will need lot of light to hit the sensor now shutter speed cannot be uh, one tenth of a second or a one twenty fifth of a second like I was mentioning earlier when you are using all the three uh, extension tubes you need to keep a shutter speed of at least 5 or 10 seconds and ISO minimum so maybe ISO 100 so that you don't get grains on the image because you are extremely close to the subject. Now when I am focusing uh, on the subject you can see I am almost hitting the kiwi fruit itself. I have pressed the shutter release button and after 5 seconds you will get the shutter closing. You can see the output we are completely focused on the label now you can see in green New Zealand 4-0 whatever uh, number that you can see there so these are the technical aspects of it shutter speed and the ISO figures image clicked with the kit lens this is uh, clicked with the 12mm attachment 
and uh, the last one that we clicked now. So these are the statistics uh, for the image. So this is the output of uh, the entire, all the three setups put together, very close. This is just with the 12 mm output. And the last one that we are seeing now, this is with the kit lens. Thanks for watching. Premchand signing off.